Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today. I'm super excited to be finally reviewing the um, Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas doll set by Monster High School Lecter. I'm super, super excited about this one. It took ages to get here and uh, yeah, it was kind of um, a little bit frustrating trying to get this one because I actually got it from Mattel Creations, but um, there were like a lot of issues related to um, the shipment and stuff, but um, yeah, they're finally here and I'm really, really grateful that they are. Um, here you can see the box, here you can see the Monster High School Ed, here we have Jack, here we have Sally. Um, they're all like uh, super shiny as you can see and they are they have these like uh, raised texture, so that's super cool. Here it says Disney Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. There it says from the makers of Monster High School Lecter. On the side we have nothing at all. <laughs> Here at the back we can see the moon, super shiny as well. And there it says the um, title of the movie again there you can see j loves s and um yeah you can pause and read this little part if you want to here at the bottom we can see the monster high collector logo again and the little basket that sally gives jack in the movie and uh yeah that's it for the outer box as you can see right here the box is like angular here at the top so i really love that and you just uh slide it out sorry if i'm like uh, hitting the mic <laughs> But when you slide it out like so you can see the dolls. They look super super beautiful um, Sorry, let me <laughs> um, Put them here in the frame. So yeah, there you can see how they look here at the top We have some like really interesting white decorations um, There you can see both of them on this side We can see cereal which looks super super cute there You can see a little pumpkin some tombstones with a uh, Frankie Skelet um, more skeletons here on the side, uh, more decorations, some snowflakes, which I find super, super nice. There you can see the title of the movie again, but this one is like super holographic. I love that. Here you can see another tombstone with the Monster High School Lecture logo, another pumpkin. On this side, we have more pumpkins, more snowflakes. And here on the back, we have a really beautiful picture of uh, both of the dolls. There you can see Jack and Sally and the moon on the background, super, super giant, and they are shiny again. So yeah, this set is just pure perfection in my opinion. Um, so let's go ahead and remove them from the box so that we can check everything up close. Okay, so here they are out of the box. And first I'm going to show you the certificate of authenticity that they came with, which is this black one. As always, we have the Material Creations logo right there at the front and here at the back. There you can see the Monster High logo, the Nightmare Before Christmas logo, and the, well, the, the same thing that all the certificates uh, always have, and the signature of uh, Rebecca Shipman. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Then we have the dolls. So, first we have, um, I think we're going to start with Sally, because um, we all know that Jack is like the the main attraction I would say. So first we have her face. As you can see, she has really intricately painted eyes. She has really shimmery eyeshadow. I love that. I think that looks super beautiful on her. And she has um, this very wide eye with a tiny pupil, of course. This is uh, the classic Tim Burton style in terms of the animated movies. Um, we have some stitching details in the mouth and uh, some blushing as well. Here you can see another stitching detail at the forehead and going down this eye. So yeah, it is super, super nicely painted. The eyes are incredibly shiny as you can see. And um, I know some people don't like that because it's harder to take pictures of them. But uh, in this case, uh, I guess the point was to make them like extremely um, visible, like, very realistic in a way because she has a really striking look. So yeah, I like the way she looks. She has really beautiful saran hair and it is red. Um, it is very, very soft and uh, yeah, super, super pretty. I think it's two blends of, uh, of colors. I can actually see like a lighter orange and then like a reddish one. 
Then we have this headband, which uh, as you can see, looks like some branches here. We have some plastic stays on this side. Then we have the top right here. We have a little branch that is like curling right there. Then we have two like, I don't know, this thing is, I don't remember the name of that. Uh, we have this bow right here and another branch and the rest is just like a very simple headband right there. So yeah, super, super beautiful. Then we have the earrings. So the earrings are these little like chains and they're actually a little bit like irregular. I don't know how well you can see that, but yeah, the, the chain is like not completely straight. So I like that a lot. And uh, we have a little uh, face of a um, cat. So yeah, and we have painted uh, yellow eyes. We have the neck right here. So as you can see, we have uh, Amanita's um, necklace, I think this is. If not, I think it's similar, but yeah. And uh, we have some stitching details in her body. So that's really, really cool. Um, we then have her dress. So her dress is very nice looking. We have this off the shoulder look. And um, yeah, this part right here is yellow. We have a dart right here. We have this other piece of uh, fabric, which is pink and we have some swirls. We have this uh, zigzag stitching at the front. We have some finishing touches here uh, in black as well. The sleeves are very puffy. And as you can see, they are in this mesh, which, which is the same one that they used at the bottom of the dress, which I'm going to show you in a moment. We have some plastic wrapping around the arms. And uh, I guess that's because this fabric is going to stain dull over time. So I think I'm going to leave it right there. We have this belt, which is uh, orange and um, black. And of course, it goes pretty well with Jack's um, part of the outfit. So yeah, I think it looks really cute. Then we have the skirt. So the skirt has, I think this is uh, actually just um, like different panels, but they are all painted. They're not like uh, like a seam on these parts. Uh, but yeah, we have this part right here, which is pink and black. Then we have this yellow with some uh, black dots and they go um, here to this side of the, the dress, the back. And we have uh, more details here. Um, this um, like teal fabric with some lines and some dots. Then we have this black one with a little skelet. I love this little part right here. And then on this side, we have the continuation of the fabric from the top. And then we have this one, which is um, yellow with like some, I don't know, some kind of a uh, mesh or yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, another texture in black. And then uh, all of that is covered in this mesh material. So I don't know how well you can see that, but there's actually two fabrics combined here. So we have this mesh and then we have the background um, fabric, which is the one with all the little designs. We have this mermaid uh, style layers and um, I don't mind them because I think the, the cut is different from previous dolls that we have seen with the same like a silhouette, as you can see, the the skirt ends uh, pretty high uh, before the knees. So yeah, I think it looks nice. This fabric is super, super beautiful. As you can see, we have some spider webs and uh, yeah, it is incredibly pretty and it feels super soft. It is stretchy and it is all finished. As you can see, we have those two layers. They're shorter in the front and then longer in the back. And then we have the shoes. So here you can see something really cool, which is the um, little, uh, I don't know, ingredients she uses to make the potion that, I think that one is the one that makes his uh, creator fall asleep, I think. Uh, but yeah, then we have some texture on the shoes and we have the other one right here, which has um, frog's breath. So yeah, super, super cool shoes. They have nothing on the bottom, but uh, yeah, they're pretty detailed on their own. So see, yeah, I like that a lot. We have more stitching details at the legs. Really, really awesome. And uh, of course, you already saw that we have some more here in the arms. We also have this back right here. So this one looks like a thread spool and yeah, 
it is blue on the sides it has just a bunch of thread texture on the sides and well the front and back and we have this little thread that is like um the handle for the doll to carry the the bag around and she is fully articulated she has the um, regular articulation as all the other monster high dolls so yeah i think she's really beautiful there you can see the hair is super long it goes past her knees like for like uh, a lot <laughs> so i love that and uh yeah let's go ahead and check out jack next so for jack we have um this very interesting new mold so for his face as you can see it is super simple we have really nicely painted eyes they um are just black but they're faded uh here on the the outer sides of the, the circles um we have the little holes for his nose and we have this really cool smile and uh, it is actually not just painted it is um like sculpted as well i don't know how well you can see that but yeah it has this this dimension i would say i like that then we have the um, back of the head i guess <laughs> there it says mattel 2022 and uh, it is a little bit squishy not that much but yeah super super pretty uh then we have this bow right here as you can see we have a cat right there and the um, yeah the sides of the bow tie which look basically the same as uh, in the movies then we have the outfit so we have two pieces in this case um which is this one the like the the blazer i would say um yeah the top part of the the suit and uh we have this really cool uh printing design which is these uh lines and they're very very nice looking and we have some little skulls and they are uh all over the um, the actual outfit and of course this is not like um true to the character i guess but uh i think it adds a lot to the character it looks super cute and it gives that uh flair of uh, being from monster high because we all know that monster high always um does the, a really great job in terms of um giving the characters like uh this designs on the fabrics then we have um the part that a lot of people don't like is that this is uh, not hemmed this is actually laser cut as you can see uh this part i actually think they could have done a little hem because uh yeah i think that's uh, what you're supposed to do in a collector doll uh but then we have this part right here which a lot of people again was complaining about and is that the the blazer here at the bottom has this uh like yeah these uh strands of fabric and uh yeah people were saying that this uh that is also like um cut by laser uh should have been hemmed and uh, i actually disagree i think um they they would lose the the actual aesthetic of being like uh more i don't know this this goes pretty well with how they tend to to look for example in the the um, halloween town i would say so yeah i i think hemming all of those details would have made them a little bit too stiff for example and also hemming that um and making it as thin as we can see right here would be really complicated so yeah trust me i i have tried that before <laughs> um so yeah it is better to leave them just like that um, then we have the second part of the outfit, which is the shirt, the vest, and the pants. They are all one piece, which I would say maybe it was not the coolest idea because um, I would have loved to have like different um, clothing pieces for Jack. But at the same time, we have a really complicated uh, body sculpt to work with. So I think creating just one piece for this whole thing was the the best decision to make because uh he's supposed to be like super thin and making like a shirt and then a vest and then the pants uh would make this part like super bulky compared to the legs so yeah i prefer this um over having like a bunch of different pieces also it's not like i'm going to be restyling him or something like that so yeah so we have the shirt which uh is this little piece of uh, white fabric and we have two gems for the buttons then we have the vest which again we have the 
orange and black um, design and this this could have got a, a little bit more detail like more little gems and then we have the pants which have basically the same fabric as the um, the top part of the the suit and uh, it is hemmed here at the bottom we have the shoes which look super awesome we can see the little heel right there the actual like heel <laughs> is there on on the bottom of the the the, um, the shoes <laughs> and uh yeah there you can see the, the front of them we have a monster high school leg right there that's super tiny but a really cool detail i just noticed that um and yeah super super awesome shoes uh and of course i know y'all want me to show you the the body so i'm going to maybe leave a picture right here so that we can avoid like removing all the clothing pieces from him because uh yeah being super skinny is like um kind of uh challenging to to remove all the the clothing pieces that he has well the two clothing pieces that he has but uh yeah i don't want to mess with his body that much because it is super thin so at a little bit um on the delicate side but here you can see the hands they're super super cool these are super detailed and we have for example here you can see the legs they are really tiny and if i remove the the shoes we have a look at the feet which again super incredibly detailed so yeah love the way it looks like super detailed you can see all the bones there uh and these feet are articulated which i love and um yeah i think that's basically it oh and also he has like um like a plastic cage right here so yeah because the the actual body is like very 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 slim so this doll stand is um uh, just holding on to that plastic cage so i don't mind it i think it um makes the the whole aesthetic work pretty well and i think they both are incredibly beautiful pieces um yeah i'm super happy with them i think uh overall we of course are paying the licensing for disney but uh yeah i think they're pretty well done i love uh, sally especially i think jack is a very um how to say like a very curious addition to a monster high collection because sally of course has just uh, a regular monster high g1 body but we have uh, jack being very very different i really like the fact that they did a whole new sculpt for him and the face looks super awesome uh the outfit could be a little bit better but in general it is not that terrible uh the shoes are really really incredible and they both come with doll stands so yeah i love that so yeah i think that's it for this review tell me in the comments down below what do you think about them don't forget to like this video share it with your friends subscribe to my channel activate the little bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a new video follow me on my instagram and my tiktok those links will be always in the description box down below and i'll see you in the next one bye